A pleasant greetings to all. In this video, I am going to explain how to obtain a transfer function of the feedback control system using block diagram reduction technique. This is the block diagram given. This consists of how many summing points? There are four summing points. One, two, three and four. Four summing points. Okay, see here. How to reduce the block diagram? First of all, see in this block diagram, this is the series block G2 and G3, but we cannot apply the series rule here because additional one takeoff point in between G2 and G3. So, first of all, we have to move the takeoff point after the block or before the block. See, if we move the takeoff point after the block means we cannot simplify this block diagram. So, another one way is moving the takeoff point before the block. So, what is the meaning of moving the takeoff point before the block? Here, this is the signal flowing direction. So, forward direction, this is the signal flowing direction. So, the direction that is opposite to the direction of the signal flow that is the before that is known as before the block. So, first of all, I am going to move the takeoff point before the block. So, I have to redraw the diagram again. If I move the takeoff point before the block, I have to multiply the same block G2 with H1. That is the step number 1. So, first write the step number 1. Move the takeoff point before the block. Now, I am going to redraw this diagram. See, before the block, here I have to multiply G2. Okay, now it is over. After finishing this, what I have to do? I have to apply the next rules. Here see G2 and G3. Both are connected in series or cascade. Again G2, G3 and G4 connected in parallel. Here H1 and G2 both are connected in series. Now I am going to reduce these blocks. That is the step number 2. So I'll write the step number 2. In the step number 2 what I have to do? The first I have to reduce the block G2 and G3. Both are connected in series combination. And next H1 and G2. H1 and G2 again connected in series combination. And then the resultant of G2 and G3 that is in parallel with G4. Okay, this is the parallel combination. Okay, now I am going to reduce this combination. First of all, I am going to reduce the series combination of G2, G3. So, series combination G2, G3 I am going to reduce. I have to redraw this. So, G2, G3 both are connected in series. So, multiply G2 and G3. And the second one, H1 and G2 both are connected in series. Now, I am going to reduce H1 and G2. So, if I am going to reduce means, I will get the value H1, G2. After finishing this, what I have to do? I am going to reduce the parallel combination. See, G2, G3, G4 connected in parallel. So, I am going to reduce the parallel combination. So, what is the combination now? G2, G3 plus G4. Okay, I have to redraw the diagram. I have to draw the block here G4. 
Okay, after finishing this, next is step number three. Step number three. See in this block diagram, this is the feedback loop. So, but we cannot reduce this feedback loop. The reason is one takeoff point between summing point and this block. So, we have to move the takeoff point after the block. Then only we can reduce the negative feedback loop. So, the step number three is move the takeoff point, takeoff point after the block. after the block so if we move the takeoff point after the block so that we can multiply the block h1 g2 with the inverse of this g2 g3 plus g4 so now what i have to do i am going to add another one block with this h1 g2 that is 1 by g2 g3 plus g4. Next step number 4. Reduce the negative feedback loop. Reduce the negative feedback loop. So, what is the formula used to reduce the negative feedback loop? G divided by 1 plus GH. What is G here? G is equal to G2, G3 plus G4 divided by 1 plus G2, G3 plus G4 into H2. So, this is the reduction of negative feedback loop. Now, I have to rub this and instead of this, I have to draw the block that consists of this transfer function. G2, G3 plus G4 divided by 1 plus G2, G3 plus G4 in the highs 2. Next step number 5. Reduce the series blocks. H1 G2, 1 by G2, G3 plus G4 connected in series. Reduce the series block or blocks connected in series. The resultant value is H1 G2 divided by G2 G3 plus G4. Next step number 6. What is step number 6? Reduce negative feedback loop. So this forms the negative feedback loop. So reduce the negative feedback loop. Feedback loop. So, what is the formula for reducing negative feedback loop? G divided by 1 plus GH. This is G and this one is H. Okay, now I have to find out the value G1 in the G2, G3 plus G4 divided by 1 plus G2, G3, H2, plus G4, H2. The whole divided by 1 plus GH, 1 plus G1 of G2, G3, plus G4, divided by 1 plus G2, G3 is 2 plus G4 is 2 
into h. So this h1 g2 divided by g2 g3 plus g4. Now I have to cancel these terms. Next I have to find out the LCM for g1 of g2 g3 plus g4 divided by these two terms get cancelled and before that first of all 1 plus g2 g3 is 2 plus g4 is 2 plus g1 g2 is 1. Now these terms get cancelled and finally we get g1 g2 g3 plus g1 g4 the whole divided by 1 plus g1 g2 h1 plus g2 g3 h2 plus g4 h2 next step number 7 again Reduce the negative feedback loop. But here the gain is 1. So h is equal to h of s or h equal to 1. Again what is the formula? How to reduce the negative feedback loop? G by 1 plus gh. So reduce the negative feedback loop. Feedback loop. So find out the value. So C by R is equal to G1, G2, G3 plus G1, G4 divided by 1 plus G1, G2, H1 plus G2, G3, H2 plus g4 h2 the whole divided by 1 plus g1 g2 g3 plus g1 g4 divided by 1 plus g1 g2 h1 plus g2 g3 h2 plus g4 h2 into 1. So the final answer C by R is G1, G2, G3 plus G1, G4 the whole divided by 1 plus G1, G2, H1 plus G2, G3, H2 plus G4, H2 plus G1, G2, G3, plus G1, G4. So this is the final answer for this transfer function. Thank you. Have a nice day.